Today is the ninth day of December, 2016, and we begin a new series, Questions and Answers for a World in Crisis. We are witness today to a world in chaos, the earth being ravaged and despoiled by greed, wars, and violent ideologies seeking to overpower, control, and enslave through extreme brutality our species. Man is at an evolutionary crossroads and is seeking answers to the most pressing questions of our age. Will humanity survive? Will Earth perish in some nuclear holocaust? Is there still hope for peace and collective harmony? We begin this series addressing questions and offering answers from the writings of Sri Aurobindo and the Mother in this time of planetary crisis. Links for further study are supplied and we invite your questions as well. Today, we take up the question, what is faith? The mother writes, faith is spontaneous knowledge in the psychic. Faith is a certitude which is not necessarily based on experience and knowledge. And Sri Aurobindo writes, the phrase blind faith has no real meaning. I suppose they mean they will not believe without proof. But the conclusion formed after proof is not faith. It is knowledge or it is a mental opinion. Faith is something which one has before proof of knowledge and it helps you to arrive at knowledge or experience. There is no proof that God exists but if I have faith in God then I can arrive at the experience of the divine. Faith is the soul's witness to something not yet manifested, achieved, or realized, but which yet the knower within us, even in the absence of all indications, feels to be true or supremely worth following or achieving. The fundamental faith in yoga is this, inherent in the soul, that the divine exists and the divine is the one thing to be followed after. Nothing else in life is worth having in comparison with that. So long as a man has that faith, he is marked for the spiritual life. And I will say that even if his nature is full of obstacles and crammed with denials and difficulties, and even if he has many years of struggle, he is marked out for success in the spiritual life. For me, faith is not intellectual belief 
but a function of the soul. Faith is a thing that precedes knowledge, not comes after knowledge. It is a glimpse of a truth which the mind has not yet seized as knowledge. For further reading, please go to Mother and Sri Aurobindo dot I N the website for seekers, disciples, and devotees.